Can CVP analysis be used for business safety? In this video, you will learn what is a margin of safety and how does a safety margin affect business risk. In previous videos, I showed you how to set the break-even point and the target income. The margin of safety is another relationship used in CVP analysis. The margin of safety is the difference between actual or expected sales and the sales at the break-even point. In other words, it is the distance between the break-even point and the current or target sales. For managers, this distance shows how far sales can fall before the company begins operating at a loss. The margin of safety is usually expressed in dollars or as a ratio. The formula for the margin of safety in dollars looks like this. As you can see, there are actual or expected sales minus break-even sales in this formula. The margin of safety ratio is the margin of safety in dollars divided by actual or expected sales. It can also be expressed in percent by dividing the margin of safety in dollars by total dollar sales. In a single product company, the margin of safety can also be expressed as the number of units sold by dividing the margin of safety in dollars by the selling price per unit. The higher the dollars value ratio or the percentage, the greater the margin of safety. No matter how you calculate the margin of safety, its interpretation is the same. The higher the margin of safety, the lower the risk of not breaking even and incurring a loss. And vice versa. If there is a low margin of safety in your company, then you can take actions to increase sales or decrease costs. These steps will increase the margin of safety and lower the risk of incurring losses. It's time for an example. Imagine a small local museum. 1.5 thousand tickets are sold monthly. Four dollars each. The break-even point is at 900 tickets. In this case, the margin of safety in dollars is $2,400. The margin of safety ratio is 0 0.4. The margin of safety in percentage is therefore 40%. Since the museum sells only tickets, let's also calculate the margin of safety in units. Let me interpret the results now. The museum's sales could fall by $2,400 or by 40% or by 600 tickets before it would start operating at a loss. These $2,400 and 600 tickets are the distance to the break-even point. This distance is also 40% of the sales value. We already know that we can sell fewer tickets and still make a profit. The margin of safety tells us how many tickets less can be sold 
so that there will not be a loss. I hope you see why safety means protection from loss. Now I would like to show you a completely different view on the margin of safety. Suppose you want to start your own business. You are at the sales planning stage. Do you know how to forecast your operating income by using a margin of safety? You can use the equation that you can see on the screen right now. How does it work? The margin of safety represents sales above the break-even point. Therefore, fixed costs have already been covered. It means that the contribution margin increases operating income. Sounds too complicated? Let's see an example. We already know that the price of one ticket is $4. The cost of one ticket is $3. We can calculate the contribution margin now. As you can see, the contribution margin ratio is 25%. The calculations we did relate to the break-even point. So we know that the fixed cost must be $900. Now let's calculate the operating income for 1,500 tickets. As you can see, the operating income for 1,500 tickets sold is $600. Since we know the contribution margin ratio, let's try to use the formula I showed you earlier. The margin of safety at the museums was $2,400. The contribution margin ratio is 25%. See, the margin of safety can also be used to calculate operating income. Let's go back to the question from the beginning of this video, which was, can CVP analysis be used for business safety? Yes, it can, if we understand safety as protection against loss. One more question. Do you know how to change the value of the margin of safety? Exactly the same way you change the break-even value. You can increase total sales or decrease the break-even point, which means that you have to change unit cost and unit price or both.